Hello, I'm Megan, aka Just Run It, and this is Megan's Monday Musings. Uh, I hope you all had a great entry into the holiday season, uh, whether you were in the United States and uh, celebrating Thanksgiving, had days full of thanks and giving. I'm thankful for all of you. Uh, just an administrative um, comment, administrati, if you will. Uh, I am also uploading these to YouTube. So if you are a, um, if YouTube is your poison and um, IGTV is not where you enjoy watching videos, you can subscribe there. Uh, it, there's a link at justrunit.com and I'll also be posting a link out in Instagram so that you can follow along there if you want. I also find it's easier to find past videos if you want to rest, reference something um, there. So last month we were talking about sweaters for National Knit a Sweater in a Month uh, and some tips along with that. And this month I'm going to be focused on quick knits. Uh, so I don't know about all of you, uh, but I get to this time of year and I go, oh, I wanted to knit something for blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Uh, so the way to do that is to grab some, either some big yarn and knit some accessories, which is what I'm gonna be focusing on, or you could do smaller projects uh, like ornaments, which can be um, fairly intricate, but, but because they're smaller in size, uh, they, they knit up uh, a little quicker. Uh, so this week, I am going to be focused on a pattern that I fell in love with when it came out and just recently was enabled to, I'm gonna do it because it's gonna be great for gifts. Uh, it is the Woodland Loafers by Verily Knits, who is Claire Slade. And um, it's big bulky yarn with uh, US size eight needles. Um, I have very little bulky indie dyed yarn in my stash in the correct quantities. I have kind of a hole in my stash there, which anybody who knows how much yarn I have would laugh and laugh at me having a hole in my stash. Uh, I had a bit that I had recently bought. Uh, and then I also on Friday went to a big box store, um, Hobby Lobby and bought, uh, these big box alternatives. I fell in love with these colors. My daughter chose this one and you'll see in a second why it's small. Um, the allure of this base to me, so this is Yarn B uh, Dream Spun. It looks like hand spun to me, uh, but also it is 80% um, acrylic and 20% superwash merino. So there's a little bit of merino in there while I'm working with it and um, for warmth while people are wearing them. Uh, so in addition to being budget friendly, the big box yarns, uh, also are a little easier on the gift recipients who aren't familiar with wool wash and washing it by hand and laying it flat. Uh, so care is a little bit easier. Uh, but let's get to the woodland loafers. So as I mentioned, uh, this is the indie dyed yarn that I had recently purchased. This is Yarn Love Yarn in her Amy March base, uh, Amy March bulky base uh, in the stained glass colorway. I just absolutely love this rainbow soul, rainbow soul for my rainbow soul. Um, I divided this yarn because I didn't have two skeins of it in two equal balls, uh, knit the medium size and ended up having to rip it out and make the smaller because I ran out of yarn. Um, but in doing so, uh, I decided that rather than have this transition from garter to the main, just be picking up stitches into the garter, I wanted a clear delineation so I, this is a mod that I introduced into the pattern. I slipped these side stitches and picked them up as if to purl to keep them on the outside. And it creates a nice little line there that kind of mirrors the upper line and um, separates the sole from the upper rather nicely. And on this variegated colorway, it's very uh, rainbow pop-tastic. So um, absolutely fell in love with these. Uh, these do fit me and my daughter who are US size eights, which is the medium size in the pattern, uh, but it's a little tighter. Uh, so it's less loafer-ish and, and more like, uh, you know, slipper sock-ish uh, on us. Uh, the other thing I wanted to note with the pattern is this does look like it's I-cord, but it is just a normal bind off. And um, to keep this taut and to keep it on my foot, uh, I bound off very tightly across here, but then to keep this looking tabbish and um, have a, a nice little um, rise there, I, I, I put more slack into these stitches and 
bound it off more loosely. And then you go back and you create this eye cord. So that was um, the first pair that I knit. Um, Rainbow Tastic, absolutely love them. Um, and they, she's got them gorgeously styled in um, her photos. Uh, and then for the second one, I did the big box yarn, so that dream spun. Again, it looks like ham spun to me um, with that marl. Uh, you don't get the rainbow uh, ridge here, but uh, it's still pretty fabulous. And um, these are the size mediums. I very meticulously started a, the stopwatch on my phone um, and stopped it when I got done with major sections so that I could tell you um, how long it took me. And again, that is elapsed time. So if I got up and had lunch, I stopped the timer, went, had lunch, came back, restarted the timer. Uh, and then I took screenshots at the various places like the sole and the upper and the front um, and the bind off. Um, and so these are the size mediums. So those are what those timings are based off of. Uh, my daughter picked these out and wanted them. Uh, again, she's got a similar size foot as me. I got to watch out for my shoes and my socks these days. And you can see this was one that she was running around the house with one slipper on. I just told her to put on socks because her feet were cold. But um, And then there's the, the sole of the other that hasn't been run around the house um, quite yet. But again, these are the Woodland Loafers by Verily Knits. Uh, the pattern is on sale for 25% off as part of the Indie Gift Along until the end of today, December 2nd at midnight. Uh, so grab that quickly if you want, but I would highly recommend uh, the pattern regardless of whether or not you get it for 25% off. Uh, it's, it's a great pattern and I can foresee myself making lots and lots of these slippers um, in, in the future. And uh, next you'll see all of the various stages of the slipper and um, the timings. So uh, elapsed, it was an hour and 45 minutes for one slipper, which makes the project about four hours uh, total, under four hours total, if you're trying to get a quick, a quick gift in. Thanks for joining me. Bye, Ufta.